Today I've got a whole USPS tub full of Chrono Toys mystery boxes. This is on my front porch and I got quite a few to open up. So all of these are from Chrono. They are all Funko Pop mystery boxes. Price of this was like 11 bucks a piece plus foreign shipping. So for a total of $15 shipped a piece for a total of 30, 60, 90, 120 for what, about $135? So $135 a box is right here to open up. Yeah, nine, I thought I bought 10. Maybe I just bought nine. So nine box to open up. Every time they do this, you always have very, very small odds. I mean, small odds to get anything good out. I have before, uh, a few times, not very often, but uh, the majority of these pops are going to be kind of like common pops, low-end exclusives. That's what's, that's what's gonna be in this box. So uh, I'm gonna go through as we do this, I'm gonna use the Funko app to look up some values of these. If the Funko app's not working, then we'll go by poppriceguide.com and see what that website says, and we'll kind of tally it up and see how much money hopefully I made and not lose with these boxes. So let's get started, let's get going. Box number one, Chrono Toys. So yeah, this is their weekly, what they call like the Challenger series of mystery boxes. And uh, they're always like like five or six top hits. Usually worth like, you know, 100 bucks up a pop. And then there's gonna be like, I think no, they always sell a total of 500 boxes, 500. There's 400 commons, and then 100 chase exclusive vaulted grail. So you kind of have a one in five chance of getting something that's not a common pop out. So out of, out of 500 boxes, four, hundred of those are common pops. So the odds to get anything good in these boxes is slim, but you can. And if you love Funko Pops, these are cheap mystery boxes to try. So here we go, first one, what do we get? The back of it does say uh, the monsters. And this is Grandpa Monster. This actually, this is older one. Twenty. This is uh, July of 2015, so this one should be long vaulted then. So I actually hit one of the rare, like vaulted ones that they have as a possibility. So on the Funko app, look it up live right now. This is worth the whole, ooh, nice. That's worth the whole $25 in value for the Munster, for Grandpa Munster. So nice, it's a nice hit. Right off the bat, something just fell. Right off the bat, we got $25. So yeah, that's a nice hit. I'll take it. So go in the handy dandy calculator, put in at 25 bucks. So yeah, like this box, the first one was $20 or $15 shipped. So right there, I've got everything back plus $5. Here we go, box number two. This one feels really light. They only put the main big hits in pop protectors. So uh, if you don't get a major hit, there won't be any kind of pop protector. So if you feel a pop protector, you automatically know you got one of the big hits of the week. No pop protector, we have Spider-Man. This is the Miles Morales, it looks like. Yep, Miles Morales. $17 on the PP, or on the Funko app. So right there, first two pops we're looking at, $42. So that's not too bad. So I spent a total of was 135. We got back 42 in value so far. So not bad, it's not bad. I haven't really, this is like a PX exclusive. So it's not really a common pop, but it's not really an exclusive. It's kind of like the in-between kind of a thing, you know? This one feels a little bit heavier. Feels a little bit heavier, not by much. Maybe a pop protector? This feels a little bit heavier. Protector, nope, disregard. Next one, oh. We got, looks like the witchy poo, right? Yeah, but witchy poo, it's got decent value to it though. I've got this thing, I don't know, probably honestly half dozen times in mystery boxes. Uh, this is Toy Tokyo, New York Comic Con 2019. These are being dumped to pretty much Chalice and Chrono. I think bought thousands of this pop, but it's still, it's got decent value. I don't know if anybody's really paying that kind of value though, but it says it's worth on it a whole $22, so that's not bad. 22 bucks, I mean, so that's more than what I paid, so I don't know if I can sell for that much, though. So right now we're looking at 64 bucks. 
out of the first three pops. So we've actually, we're coming close to half of my money back. So far, I'm actually not doing too bad in terms of value. Haven't really gotten an actual common pop out yet. The Miles was a PX exclusive, which is kind of a common, kind of not, because it's, you know, that gray area. Here we go, this is number four. Come on. Is there a protector? Oh, I felt a little bit thicker, but no. No protector. We have the, oh, nice. Vegeta powering up, Chalice exclusive. This is the Chase. There's a nice hit. This is I think worth, worth like 50 bucks, I think. I'm actually killing us so far with these boxes. Uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty big hit right there in terms of a $15 mystery box. I'll take this kind of a hit all day long for 15 bucks. And it's worth on a Funko app, yep, exactly. $50 in value. I've, had, I've hit this thing three or four times now in mystery boxes from a few companies, mostly Chrono Toys and Chalice. Right now I'm at 114 bucks in the first four boxes. I'm actually only pretty much $20 away from getting all my value back. So I'm actually freaking killing it right now. Like freaking killing it. So I'm happy with these so far, but there's gotta be some common pops here coming out here soon. You can't get all these big hits for $15 <laughs> shipped. Here we go, next one. Box number five. Is there a pop protector set? That last one was worth 50 bucks and still no pop protector. It's not even considered like one of the big hits. It's a $50 hit though, but it's a nice hit. No protector, we have, oh nice. We've got Deadpool. This is the new Marvel 80 year collection, which the back of it has like their first appearance comic book and the new Mutants number 98, the first appearance of Deadpool. This is actually, I really like this pop that they made of Deadpool, and I really like this new 80-year series with just the comic book on back of it. I think it's a very, very nice touch. So this is the first actual common hit from these boxes. So it took, what, five boxes to hit the first real honest common pop? $11. dollars one we we're, we're, we're pretty much one pop away from getting all of our value back, all of our money back in value. So on these, I actually am going to make money on these Funko Pops this time. I'm going to make some money. Not a whole lot, but some. Next one, this is number six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we got a protector. Let's put it back, back, back in there. We got a protector. So I actually got one of the big hits right here. I got one of the big hits. Let's do that one last. That was in a soft protector, which automatically that means it's pretty much that pops worth probably at least like a hundred bucks. So these boxes are freaking killing it. I I usually don't do this well on these $15 boxes from Chrono Toys. I usually don't. No pop protector, so just another like lower end pop. We have Mickey, the Asia exclusive. This actually, this thing first came out, it's worth like $30, $35, but it's pretty much everywhere now. Asia exclusive sticker, a little bit of box damage on the Mickey ear, but it still has a little bit of value to it, I bet. And it's worth a whole, oh, still $27. That's not bad for the Funko app at a whole 27 bucks for the Mickey Mouse Asia exclusive. That's a nice hit. So plus 27, now we're looking at 152. So I'm actually in more, I paid 135, I'm at 152. And I have one box that has uh, one of the biggest hits, or uh, one of the big hits, I should say, of this of this entire run. Because if you get a soft protector, you pretty much, you got one of the big four or five hits. So that's freaking awesome. Here's number seven. Yeah, very happy so far with these boxes. This one has no, I can feel it, it's like it's, it's squishy, so no pop protector on this one. And we have Groot. Groot Hot Topic Exclusive. Very cool. I wonder if this one's vaulted yet. This movie came out a few years ago. It's actually might already be vaulted. If it is, maybe it's worth a little something, something. No, it, but it's not vaulted, but it's worth 20 bucks. That's not bad. That's worth 20 bucks. Yeah, I'm impressed with these boxes so far. These have been really killer. 172. With two boxes left. 
And one of them's got a big hit in it. Freaking kill it on these boxes. Here we go. Number eight. So two left. Do this one, then we'll do the big hit. This one sure shakes a lot. No soft protector. And we got Korg from Avengers Endgame. Man, he's he's a heavy one too. His head weighs a pound by itself. Korg. So this one is just a common. It is not a big hit. It's worth, oh, this is the worst one so far. It's worth the whole $9. So worst hit so far. So now we're at $181. I, I think I looked at the price of the last one, didn't I? I think I, think I, I added it into my calculator. I think I did. I might have forgot. If I did forget, then it's it would be at like 201 right now. So I'll have to update when I edit this video if I remember. I might have forgot to actually add that last one in. But anyway, right now we're at 181, possibly 201. But here we go. This one's in a soft protector. This is a hit. We got a hit. Try to keep it off camera. I can't see it. Which one's up? Okay, that's the back. So you ready? Three, two, one. What we get? The back says Thor. Oh, nice. It's a good hit. Thor Asia exclusive. That is a nice one. I've actually hit this one out of mystery boxes like three or four times now. I think it's worth like close to 100 bucks though. I think it is. At least it, it used to be. Like around 100 bucks. Oh, exactly. Worth $100. That is a nice hit right there. There is a $100 hit in a $15 mystery box. So you can't beat that. So right there, that puts it at... $281, depending on that Groot, it might be at 301 right now. But no, no matter what, I got I got double my money back this time in value. So I freaking killed it on the boxes this time. Freaking killed it. So yeah, this is the best this is the best like run of mystery boxes I've, I've ever done for Chrono Toys. I only had like what? Maybe two common pops out of nine. I'll buy some more of those next time, and we'll do some more mystery boxes, and I'll see you next time. Funko Bad Guy out. Perfect.